Welcome to Bakasi, a peninsula on the Gulf of Guinea that lies between the Cross River Estuary near Calabar West and Rio Del Rey Estuary on the east. Growing up here was laced with so much excitement and adventures, like frequent showers in the stream where we fetched our water, our fathers hunting grasshoppers in the forest, and building little mud houses with the moist clay after the rains. Our farms flourished with green vegetables and fishes swam happily into our father's nets. We all believed that it was a sign of favor from the gods, as mother would always say. The gods are happy with us, and so they have blessed us in return. Suddenly, things began to fall apart when strange illnesses began to kill the people in our village. It started with Chief Nakanda, whose left leg began to swell unexplainably. He paid it no mind at first, but as the time passed, the swelling increased till he was immobile. He tried all the native medicine available, but nothing worked. Soon, rumors began to spread. I am so as the spirit of his new wife's husband that died that's afflicting him that is very correct very correct the rumors continued till it reached the king of my village king mutanda the second it is very clear my lord that this man has committed a very grievous sin and the gods have punished him for it your, your highness i have done no silence You are hereby banished from this village to the outskirts. None but your wife is allowed to visit you. And you shall by no means return to this land. Not long after, we discovered that several people in the village became sick, both men and women. These strange illnesses brought great poverty upon us. Our mothers carried long faces and our fathers sat in silence for days. Could it be that the people of my village had all offended the gods? Not long, our king, King Mutanda II, started to develop a swollen leg. When our chiefs realized that all our herbs and enchantments couldn't help, they decided to try modern medicine. Unfortunately for us, ours was a neglected village and the nearest hospital was eight hours away. I was part of the emissary who journeyed and returned with a doctor, Dr. Gary. One look at our king and Dr. Gary started ticking and writing in his notepad. After a very careful examination of the king, Dr. Gary spoke to us and asked if any of us had heard of. We all shook our heads, saying no, emphatically. He told us of several NTDs like Buruli ulcer and leprosy. He mentioned their causes, their symptoms, and their cure. Before I leave, what is the source of drinking water in this village? The stream of life. Where we bathe and sometimes defecate around. That stream of life has led to the death of some of your king's men due to NTDs. I'll be on my way now. With his parting words, he promised to return with an NTD team from the Ministry of Health. After two weeks, our king became well. His swelling had reduced greatly. Dr. Gary returned with an NTD team and they deployed tactics like the Mass Drug Administration MDA and the Intensive Disease Management IDM to combat the NTD cases in my village. Our people praised Dr. Gary and his team and called them the angels of life. I wish they came earlier. My mother would not have died of hookworm infection in pregnancy. Everyone in my village has decided, just like Dr. Gary and his angels of life, to unite and... Roll the